Hey campers, welcome back to Let's Go Camping. I'm your host, Veronica. Let's head back to Tennessee to finish up Camping Hoosiers' trip to Gatlinburg. Jordan's nervous. I'm only used to doing this. He's holding my hand. hand. We're scared. No, it's not. You're doing good. You're doing good. Oh. <laughs> this is a pretty incredible view. All right, buddy. <laughs> Why are we stopping? Okay, look at this. A nice view of Gatlinburg. I don't like this anymore. <laughs> you don't like I want to get off. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not bad. If I have to, I'll make a parkour shot right there and just jump on. Yeah, there. roll down the hill. Please. Well, I'm not rolling down the hill. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> I guess if I climb it, but I hate up those. Yeah. It's pretty awesome, though. Is there a plane? Kentucky Aquarium? You can. I think Kentucky Aquarium is a bridge that walked over a shark tank. Oh, yeah? I know. I'd rather be walking over it. Dan? <laughs> This is the longest sky bridge in the United States. Yep. So what do you think of the trip so far? It's been fun. Beautiful views. Gatlinburg is definitely back to life. But this is pretty cool, for sure. I don't know if it was worth $150 for six people, um, but I think that you kind of have to do it once, check it off your list, right? Spend some time, but maybe not with all your kids that don't want to spend all the time out here. <laughs> they want to go down into Gatlinburg and spend money on candy <laughs> and the arcade, but um, yeah, we had a good time though. It's fun. Now we're going to explore some more. All right, so we are getting ready to roll out of Gatlinburg. It's been an exciting three days, very busy. We are all tired as we should be after a good vacation like this, but uh, I think everyone had a really good time as our first time in the Smoky Mountains of Gatlinburg. So we're gonna run down um, our amenities, proximity and price for this campground. So let's start with amenities. A nice pool. Yes, nice pool, nice playground. Um, nice bathroom facilities, shower facilities, laundry, laundry store, uh, disc golf. Yeah, just plenty to do on site. Like we could have mm -hmm. easily just hung out here for all three days um, and found enough to do to stay busy. Mm -hmm. Plus uh, it butts right up to the national park for the Smoky Mountains. So you can actually get into the park um, just behind the campground, which is really great, um, easily accessible. So. And then price, uh, so it was $59 a night, um, which is pretty standard, I think, for your KOA for a full hookup um, RV site uh, with sewer and water and everything. Um, other than that, I think all around we thought the campground was um, very nice. Uh, the sites are huge. Anyway, so we are taking this beautiful RV back to Mount Comfort. Um, really appreciated uh, being able to rent it for um, this trip and to celebrate Bryson's birthday. And now thank we're, you, Mount Comfort. Yes, thank you, Mount Comfort. And now we are heading home. So we'll see you next time. That looks like an awesome trip. Let's see what adventures Kemp Outside is up to now.
Hey guys, I'm Kevin with Kemp Outside, your inside source for all things outside. So I am on a three week tour of Indiana. We're hitting six state parks and I'm having an absolute blast in an RV from Mount Comfort RV. So they've hooked us up with this 21 QB by Coachman. And I'm normally a tent camper, so I want to give you a list of five things that I learned I should bring when I'm renting an RV. Number one is a broom and dustpan. Guys, no matter what you do, you always track stuff into the RV, and you're going to want to be able to clean the floors. So definitely bring along a broom and a dustpan and give it a sweep out every day. It definitely helps keep things clean inside the RV. Number two is a floor mat. A welcome mat for outside the RV. One of the ways you can keep your floor clean is to not drag dirt in in the first place. So we stopped at a Walmart after our first park and picked up a little welcome mat. That way we're able to brush off our feet before we even walk in the RV. We can kick our shoes off once we get inside there and we can keep the RV clean. It is a great investment to make your trip a whole lot better. Number three is a table for outside under the awning. Guys, the picnic tables just aren't big enough in a lot of these state parks, especially when you have a family of four, and so you're going to want a food prep area, or you're going to want an area uh, to just set stuff out under the awning of the camper, or to sit at, or a table to play games, or cards, or whatever, especially when the weather is nice and you want to sit under the awning of the RV. So you're definitely going to want to bring along some kind of folding table that you can set out under the RV awning to enjoy your time outside and keep your stuff off the ground. Number four guys is cookware. So you probably aren't gonna have plates and cups and spoons and forks and knives and all of that stuff provided with you when you rent the RV. You're gonna need to bring that stuff from home. So we just brought our camping cookware with us that we normally use tent camping, including a couple of uh, propane stoves and that kind of thing. It is equipped with a refrigerator and freezer as well as a microwave and a propane stove and small oven. So you can cook inside the RV, but our weather was so nice we wanted to cook outside. So we really enjoyed that. And guys, number five, the fifth thing that I recommend you bring along when you rent an RV is fitted sheets. So we didn't know what RV we were getting when we uh, were going to rent an RV, and so we weren't sure what sheets to bring. So we just brought sleeping bags and threw them over the tops of the mattresses. But I can tell you guys that fitted sheets would have been a whole lot nicer for this trip, and we regret not bringing them. So definitely, when you're renting an RV, make sure that you find out what RV you're getting, what kind of beds it has, and bring fitted sheets along. It'll make your uh, nights in the RV that much more comfortable. Guys, we are having an absolute blast on our tour of Indiana. You have got to do a tour like this. Rent an RV from Mount Comfort for your next adventure. For Let's Go Camping, I'm Kevin Kemp with Kemp Outside. Thanks, Kevin. Now, let's link up with Alex and Rocky as they head to Glacier National Park. Oh, buddy. It's about to be a great day. We're gonna have the best day ever. Jay, come here, let me get that eye booger off you. That's disgusting. All right, it's time to head into the park. We're gonna switch to the top cam so you can see this beautiful sunrise and the entrance to Glacier National Park. A couple years back, I was coming out of the park. I had just gone on like a 15 mile hike and uh, I was exhausted. I had no more water left. I had eaten all the food that was in my bag and so I came down into this town looking for some dinner. So I came down here to the Hun's Den, pulled in. I saw the lights were on outside so I pull in and uh, 
right as I pull in, the lights shut off. Like he's closing up shop. I said, I don't know where I would have gone from there, but at any rate, I'm sitting here getting on my phone, looking for some new places to eat or something, just trying to figure something out. And uh, so this dude knocks on my window and I look and it's the owner of the restaurant. And he's like, hey man, you hungry? And I'm like, hell yeah, I'm hungry. I'm hungrier than I've ever been in my life. He was like, well, my father always taught me, if you're gonna be a cook, you don't ever leave somebody hungry. And his father was a cook and I was like, oh, you know, I'm all ears. And so he's like, come on in with me. And so I followed him in through the back door and uh, this dude just starts flicking lights, firing the grill back up. And just the first thing out of his mouth was how you like your burger. And I mean, from then on, I was just sitting in the back kitchen making it with him. Uh, all of a sudden, his family shows up. They were concerned on why he was late. And so he had a little boy and his wife and they were just very nice. Unfortunately, I'm just not the best with names. So I just, I can't even remember for the life of me what the guy's name was. But I could point this place out on a map exactly where it lays. And here it is. Sad to see that it's all closed down. I was hoping I could come by and uh, meet him again. Who knows where he's at? It's all shut down. But it's just a cool story and it's one that I like to tell people because um, no matter where you're at, no matter what you're doing, is you just never know when you're just going to meet somebody that's just like a reminder of how good the human species is. But uh, one of the many examples of why I just love traveling, love being on the road, you just end up with all these stories and these cool events that you're just probably not going to get sitting in your hometown. Thanks guys, looks so fun. And finally, let's check out this week's RV review. Hey guys, we're here at Mount Comfort RV and we're here with Keith and I'm not really sure what he's gonna show us today. Why don't you uh, let us know what you got in store? I've got a real treat in store for us. We're on the elusive hunt for the Tiffin Open Road. She, you don't see her very often, especially in the wild, you don't see her very often because you can't find them very often. But if we walk around, maybe we might get lucky and see, maybe run across. Oh, and there she is. She's a beaut, isn't she? Maybe we should go over there and check her out. Let's but seriously, the hard thing is, is getting the open roads, getting any Tiffin product right now. You, everybody knows demand, craziness has been going on with uh, uh, production, getting parts, getting everything. And the simplest thing from the, from the awning set up on here that you see, which Tiffin does, which is great. You notice how you don't have any big old bars down here? Right. All right. Not that your husband is so short that he'd have to worry about it, <laughs> right. but yet there's nothing here, no obstruction. Nice. So you can see the party when we're out here. This is where all the fun is because even though this is beautiful and stuff inside, out here, this is our whole out right. area. This is where everything, all the memories are made. Yeah. And if you notice, the cool thing is, well, this is a sold sign. That goes to show you that even though she's elusive, she did get sold, okay? But notice that big window. So that's right at your kitchen. Oh, okay. So even though things are going out here, kids, everybody's out here hanging out, you're still a part of things that are happening so I like that yeah nice thing TV out here entertainment great yep. to have the uh, simple things that Tiffin does that that they probably didn't have to do is everybody goes what's this compartment here what's behind there well actually that is access to the back of your refrigerator okay wow. where most times if you had an issue or something like that you got to pull the whole fridge all the way out right okay so this kind of makes a nice way to do here's a fill here for your uh, fresh water if you wanted to do it manually Nice big uh, storage compartments that you've got on these guys. Oh, wow. Central vac system. So if you got a dog or something like that, I mean, you're always, you're constantly upkeep and maintenance and vacuuming. And here you'll notice, so this has actually got the uh, computer type workstation, buffet type area eating. Okay. These are two decorated totally, at least like the decor of the coach. Right there, the chairs are foldable. Okay. So you can have seating for four people at that table if you want to. That's so, nice. Pretty neat. Yeah. But it'll work this way, and this has got the Truma Combi, which is the, actually the Truma hot water heater, so basically tankless hot water. So I know you've seen a lot of things, travel trailers and stuff like that. They generally yeah. have like a, a six-gallon hot water heater. Uh -huh. Put your five-gallon bucket with hot water, that's it. So this here, you can have endless hot water, okay. which is very nice. So you can take Hollywood showers and, yeah. and all that good stuff. Um, this is sitting on the new V8 chassis. So great thing about that they redesigned the whole chassis itself the ride is different a lot of the older models used to have to take and put sumo springs and put uh, steering stabilizers on the front of them uh -huh. these guys here drive 
a lot better than the old V10s did. Okay. I hate to say that because we've had V10s around for so many years. It's what we've always sold, what we've always had. But this is really a blessing with 350 horsepower, almost 500 foot pounds of torque. So you could tow 5,000 pounds. Oh, so wow. if you want to tow your Jeep or you could almost tow like a truck, you might okay. be able to. It just depends on the weight yeah. of that. Uh, Keith, what is this? Oh, why Tiffin. would you have that little Tiffin always <laughs> window does this. there? Okay. This is actually this this is actually on old trucks. Cab overs used to be back in the day. Is truck drivers these little mirrors can only see so much. Okay. okay. So if you look straight across, the driver can actually look and have a view out the side of this. Okay. Or if you got a little dog, they yeah. can just sit there and watch the world go by. That's what That's I was wondering. Yeah. If it was a puppy That's window. Actually, <laughs> actually yeah. It's, <laughs> it's just for it's for a Garfield thing. You just put it yeah. there. So that's about it. Okay. Side view cameras. Have you you drove these, haven't you? No, never. Side view cameras. That's you got nice. a big monitor that's in there. So as soon as you turn your blinker on, it shows you the whole passenger side of the coach, or it shows you, shows you the whole driver's side of the that's coach. That's nice. So it's nice. It's it's yeah. a it's an added backup. I'm a mirror person, so right. I'm always using my mirrors. But right. it's nice to have that secondary where you might be able to see it, or yeah. just to notice something out of the corner of your eye. So I like but that. It pretty much on the outside, that pretty much everything we could really do on the outside. I mean, I've got a nice uh, wet station uh, over on the other side for all our hookups and everything yeah. like that. But as far as, uh, I'd love to show you guys the inside. You want to go in? Yeah, let's Come go. Come on. Well, welcome back. We're now standing inside the 2022, which is Tiffin's Open Road, which if you're just tuning in the first time and never seen, you don't know anything about RVs, this is on a gas chassis. Okay. okay. You've always asked me about gas chassis and diesels and what the difference is. The real big difference is, is the nice thing about the RV industry, whether you're buying a $10,000 pop-up or you're buying a million dollar diesel pusher, there is some level of coach for everybody. That's what okay. it all comes down to, Yeah. okay? But as you stand in here, notice the woodwork. It's beautiful, oh, I yeah. love this wood. The one thing that you, you're gonna find with all your Tiffin products, they build all their cabinetry and everything in-house. That's the first thing you okay. see when you go to their factory. Okay, okay, you'll see yeah. that. They're actually gluing the wood together, planing it, and doing the whole the whole nine yards. Yeah. That's why you see all the, the grain and the woodwork that they put into it. Yeah. So, but one thing I want to point out is if you want to sit down, check that out. Sure, absolutely. Feels like a recliner. Actually, you're, you're done. You're done. She's done. She can't drive it. She's too short. You're I'm too not. Short? I can reach we can get the a pillow. Pedals. We'll get a pillow for her. I can reach them. And the chair probably moves forward, right? But yeah, so you've got tilt wheel on the steering wheel. Yeah. All your controls are there on the steering wheel now. Before, they used to not have that stuff, which now yeah. makes it easier just uh, for operation. The That chair does go forward because it does have the electric yeah. uh, oh, it's over seat, so you can yeah. move it forward and you can move it up. Yeah, look at that. I have plenty of room. Well, you could drive this thing fine. So looking at your mirrors, both yeah. sides, and like I was talking about the monitors here, so when you do put your blinker on, your yeah. side of the coach will actually show up on the on the monitor for you. So That's another nice. great thing is a lot of people, you're used to travel trailers and you guys have a liner, right. okay? Yep. Well, you know the work that goes into setting it up. So yeah. picture this, we just drove eight hours, got to Florida, get to our favorite spot, pull in. Right. Right there, that's your whole auto level system. All you gotta oh. do is send Steve to the fridge for a beer, hit the auto level, yeah. and let it do its thing. Just that's right. not have to mess around. If you're, in the, if you're in your spot, most of the time, you know, they're all nice and gravel, so you just hit that level, let it level it out. Once it's leveled, put your slide outs out, Very and nice. you're camping. Put the awning out, and let's have fun. Yeah. So, but this is kind of cool. If you come over here, check that out. Especially if you're the navigator, boom, little pull out. Pull it, oh, there you go. Way. Yep, pull out little work, oh, workstation little for work you. little workstation. Mm -hmm. Cup holders, people think it's funny, but hey, cup holders each side. That's that's a nice thing to have too. Some some manufacturers don't do that. Check out so, that. That is a workstation, like a buffet style is what that is. You can actually do a dinette booth. I was gonna say, where would you put the extra chairs that we saw underneath? You actually can take this uh -huh. and then. Oh. So you figure the folding okay. chairs, you can right. get another space out this way. Right. So the folding chairs also, like I said, they match the decor yeah. of this coach. So it is, nice. you can actually put five people if you really wanted to at this right. spot. So notice all the solid surface. Yes. All the solid surface Looks countertops. Pretty heavy. Very, yes, it is. Yeah. Very nice. Nice thing about these guys too is we do, during the day, we've got our day shade. Yeah. Then during the night privacy in our nightshade. Very nice. So in all your windows that you see on the whole That's coach. Blackout curtains. Yes, ma'am. The front windows actually got a power shade both day and night okay. on that also. Big screen TV up there at the front. Very nice. Also take, Very if nice. you look over in the kitchen, 
Look at all that kitchen. counter space. Oh yeah, exactly. <laughs> Which is not all counter space, but just like, like here, nice gourmet cooktop, but that covers it up so we can still have our counter space if right. we're not cooking. But yet, my thing is, you can actually pull it out if you want. Okay. You can store it down underneath the bed. Oh, okay. Um, and just have the space open, but it's a backsplash. Right. And if you've ever had to clean this window back here, that would probably be nice to have. Yeah. Residential size microwave. Yeah. Oh, and then also notice, what's missing? Let me check the cookies. Let me check the cookies. Oh, the cookies aren't done. So convection microwave. Okay, perfect. So I have never cooked cookies in those before, but yeah. I probably should. Those drawers are super nice Aren't they? Too. All storage, all yeah. storage. Also notice, do you see that though? I saw the soft it, clothes. Oh yes, very Straight nice. Great with kids, mm -hmm. huh? Oh yeah, absolutely. Nice yeah. thing too, littles. Knobs are up here uh -huh. instead of being down here along the front. Right. That's one thing that. Plus, if you don't want the littles to mess with it, you just shut it off. Boom. Or if they mess with it, put their finger in there. Ooh. They'll never do it again. No. Nope, nope. Parenting tips for me. Give me a call, <laughs> Keith Mount Comfort RV. So yeah. this here, nice it's couch. A very large Isn't couch. It? This is one thing that I love about these coaches like this when they're set up because yeah. for so many years they put the TV on the back wall. Right. You sit and watch TV like that. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I sleep wrong on my pillow. I'm done for a week. Uh, but TV straight across from you. Okay. What's You've that? also got one over there. Yes. So, which is nice TVs. too because if you've got multiple people oh. on board, you can play simultaneously up on the front. Play it outside so if you've right. got a game going you're not going to miss any of it while you're you know if you got to go back yeah. to the bedroom or go use the restroom or We've something like that place in here too that thing will run you out yeah. it will oh yeah it's maybe perfect. not me but yeah you're probably nor normal if you sleep, people. yeah if you're like my wife she is <laughs> she sleeps in a parka and yeah. mittens and everything yep. else so but notice big residential fridge did you open that up and look I inside didn't. let's see that oh wow yeah i could fit inside there a little bit more storage than the uh, a-liner isn't it yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but wow. nice big freezer. You don't even need a cooler if you've got all this space. Look at nice that freezer. Ice maker also. Very nice. Oh yeah, plenty of space. And that runs off an inverter, which pulls from your house batteries. So okay. going down the road, you don't have to run your generator or anything like that. The alternator on the on the coach is charging the batteries up, so you you can just keep on running. This is for a bit more video storage. Games. Yep. There you go. Yep. <laughs> got a sound bar down there also. Very so nice. and this also makes into a bed. A lot of people yeah. aren't aware, but that's actually a hide -a bed Okay. On that. So in this hide -a bed you actually sleep north south instead of. This I was gonna way. say it looks like it's like six feet long. Huh? Yeah, it's yeah, it's just like that hide -a bed that grandma had that probably messed right. up all our backs. Yeah, that one. Yeah. So just like that. And as we work back that way. Look at is, that fancy shower. So close this off, you've got your full on suite. Master bath, everything. So you can close off, you got friends. Close it off, you got your privacy. Yeah. Second thing, if you have friends, they want their privacy, you can close off your room so then right. they can shower and, and have all their space. Yeah. Um, nice big old skylight shower. In there. Oh, yeah, skylight. Nice, nice big shower with sit down stool. And also here, which is nice, you can close this guy up. Oh, okay. It has a light that's on it. Close that, open that back up. So this is really cool. Okay, so say you're boondocking. Yeah. You only have so much water on board. Okay. So you take and actually flip the valve on here and it circulates the water in the system until it gets hot. Oh, okay. This will change colors and let you know, hey, your water's hot. Yeah. So instead of sitting here like home, I turn Wait my shower on. Right. We run it and we don't care until okay. it steams like that. Yeah. But then once it, it's hot here, you've got heat right here. So you're not wasting water. That's a great which, idea. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. And then check out that bathroom. Yeah, let's see. I have not oh, seen a wow. bigger bathroom in a 32 foot coach. Actually, this is actually 34 this foot, three huge. inches is the actual length of this coach. But look at that, plenty yeah. of space. So Lots of storage. A lot of times, you know, a lot of coaches, you'll be sitting there and you're kind of, your legs laying against the toilet while you're doing makeup or washing yeah. your face, brushing your teeth. There's a towel rack back yep. here. I noticed these too, that's nice. When that's I have the door open, you could just put your bath towels right well, there. Well, you, huh? you think about that. The time everybody asks, what's the difference between coaches? The right. time and the effort it took to actually make this. Yeah. Just to have a place for towels to hang. Right. Okay, so That's I mean, nice. also down there, a little towel hanger right down there. Right, for your hand towels. Yes, ma'am. More storage underneath. A lot of good storage. Yeah. A little medicine cabinet. Notice also on the vents meters. and everything in your ceilings, that's all ducted AC throughout the whole coach. Yeah. Whisper quiet AC, so it's about as, I mean, you'll know they're on, but it's not like your uh, regular travel trailers where it sounds like a window unit from my first apartment. Right. So, but king size bed. Yeah. You figure I'm 5'11 and I, I smelt 200 pounds, so, and I'm in this shower, I got plenty of room to shave my legs. 
Perfect. So, you got a little seat so, to sit on while you do that. Look at that. Beautiful bed. Right. Tempur-Pedic. Very nice. All right. These are very comfortable to sleep on. Yeah. Nightstands here. Controls for your lights are here. So you get in bed, you want to turn yeah. the lights off for the whole coach, you're right here. And more of those blackout shades. You got it. Shades. Yep. Very and then nice. another neat thing is this right here. I was going to say, this says slide. What are, so what are we seeing? it's storage right now. Okay. Okay. But you can do a, com a combo washer dryer. Oh, wow. If you wanted to. Okay. It's such a trade off. So washer you dryer. Put that right there. Yep. You put that right there. Yeah. So All if you were doing. Longer term camping, yes, that'd yeah, be great. Exactly. And, and then, then what about these? That's your big wardrobe closet. Gotta give it a good pull. There you go. Okay. Look at all that room. Wow. Yeah. I could so. hang my ball gowns in there, huh? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so little simple things Tiffin does. Check this out. Oh, Laundry hamper. Oh, I like that. Yeah, it's nice. It's a little, I mean, you don't think about it until you, it's just like you ever go to a hotel room and you're like, what do I do with my dirty clothes? You're putting right. them in your luggage. Yeah. A little space to hold it. Fill the bag up, take it to the laundry room, or if you had the combo washer dryer, Look at right. that, how deep all the storage is I on know. the drawers. Those uh -oh. drawers are very nice. TV back here. See, it's on a swivel also. So you can actually lay back here, lounge, watch your watch your shows. And a ceiling fan. Tiffin always does ceiling fans. They're yeah. known for their ceiling fans. It's a great uh -oh. idea though. But um, USB ports, technology, everything's there. Nowadays, everybody needs some place to charge. Another neat thing too is this is space. You can actually fit a CPAP on here if you had to. Okay. Okay, so you got room and for that. you got the outlets for that mm -hmm. too. Yes, ma'am. Very ma nice. But well, this is it. Nice so, what do you paper. what do you think of this, Veronica? You want to buy it? Uh, maybe. All right, all right. We'll go ahead and start the paperwork. Thank all you right. very much. Have a great now. But Thanks, Keith. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> we did. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, you guys are welcome, Keith at Mount Comfort RV. Thanks for letting me spend some time with you today. Yeah. Thanks, Keith. Thanks, Veronica. That does it for this week's episode. Make sure to tune in every Saturday at 8:30 p.m. on WHMB40. See you next week.